a writing folder. And in somebody's classroom, I saw um, they bought this writing folder where they had the alphabet on. Do you remember that, Sarah? It was in first grade. It was in first grade. Well, it's important for them to have a writing folder, but have them keep the pieces that they abandoned on one side. Because authors, as they gain more skill and understanding, can return to abandoned pieces and develop those. Now, if, you know, sometimes maybe you think, uh, you know, you, if there's a kid that's got a, a stack of them, well, you're not going to say, but have them, because in the real world, many authors will abandon a piece for a while, go off to write something else, and come back and finish it. Stephen Kellogg's Best Friends, I don't know if you know Stephen Kellogg's books, Pinkerton, um, he wrote a book, Best Friends, it's really a great book. And he could not figure out how to finish that book for 13 years. Wow. Well, I don't want kids to be doing that, but <laughs> they'll be in college going back to their second pieces. But the point is, you can revisit things, um, revisit your pieces um, to change them, to add to them. So, okay, so make sure they have a place to keep abandoned pieces. Anything else? Can you answer the question, is it okay that they continuously abandon? If, they're, if, they are not, if they are not finishing a piece, you want them to finish a piece, right? Mm -hmm. So what I would do in that case is if you have just one kid, I would have him at a small writing group with two other kids that have, and I would talk through what, how they went about finishing, what is, you know, the conversation, what is the thinking. I would support that kid, helping that child to know how they could write more, along with peers that could also articulate, articulate how they do it. If you have a couple of kids, pull those couple of kids with others that are doing it and have them notice. At the table, you have them start talking about their piece and what else they could write. So those kids may need more support than other kids. You support kids, whatever it is, and what they're not doing yet. And it would be interesting to ask the child, you know, to tell me yeah. you know, a little bit more about and then say, you what's could, going on? Like, right. And what then do you say, thinking? you could write about that. Why don't mm -hmm. we write about that? Maybe right there in the conference, just say, get that down. Let's get that down. If that doesn't work, you can pull them to a small group. But that would be an excellent thing to do. I do that all the time. That's kind of a common thing for a lot of kids. Yes. Another thing I was thinking of the abandoning is, is making a connection so they see that the writer, there's somebody out there that wants you know, to speak to them about their writing, mm -hmm. or there's a purpose or a real good reason for it, and we make that connection. A lot of times, they're not abandoning. Other ideas, that's a great idea. Other ideas that you've used in your classroom when kids are not you know, they're just abandoning it. That's worked for you. It's that conferring, that supporting, um, or small group conferring and supporting. It's conferring and supporting. They just need more support. And the dialogue, the conversation around their book or whatever the topic is. 